They say a bike on the pavement is better than two in the bush. Or something like that. Anyway, these guys out here are used to the scuff marks and the bruises. Oh. It's why they call themselves the Quinell Knee Draggers. I really don't know. I think that it's just because when they're going around the track, they drag their knee, I guess. When you're turning on your bike, you're going so fast that you need to put your body weight into it and push your bike away. You drag your knees with sliders to keep you going in the right direction, I guess. <laughs> and you know what they say, those who live by the dragging of said knees resurrect themselves with lots of duct tape. I'll see myself out. We kind of duct tape everything. We duct tape the frame of the bike because the newbies, we crash it a lot, so they get scratches and such. We duct tape the gear, my first uh, set of leathers that I borrowed. The butt was all duct taped, and this is good. <laughs> part automotive geniuses and part daredevil, the Quinell Knee Draggers are a community group that started a couple of years ago to share the passion of bike racing with anyone who's interested. They're here to teach kids and adults how to properly ride their bikes in a safe environment. My dad found out just on their Facebook page and that I come out here and for 20 bucks try it and if I don't like it, don't keep doing it and if I do like it, keep doing it, get my own bike, get my own gear and stuff. I was nervous, really nervous because it's the first time I've ever been on a bike. I didn't know how to shift, um, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to balance the bike proper, how fast I should have gone, how slow, like didn't know anything. My first day, I crashed into Chris. <laughs> he was uh, slowing down and I didn't downshift fast enough, so I fixated on the bike and I hit him. <laughs> but that's just par for the course while training and it doesn't stop Chris Kelly, the club's president, from loaning his bike to his student. As you're going around a corner and you're... It's really amazing, like, it's a fun sport. Uh, they're super, super welcoming. They help out a ton, like I'm borrowing pretty much all of my gear. He's always open and willing to help or willing to teach me more or anything. To become a member of this group, all you'll need is $250 a year, which gives you unlimited practice sessions all year. Given the fact that they start riding in May, that's close to six months of biking every year. You don't need a license to be on this track. You don't need a license of any kind. And you don't even need your own bike or gear. The club is more than happy to share their resources to help you learn how to ride. There are a few restrictions on those who bring their own bikes though. You can bring your own bike, but there's only certain types of bikes we're allowed on the track. We're only allowed uh, up to, I think, a 300, like a Ninja 300. When you come to the track with your road bike, we recommend you take your mirrors off and we tape up your lights. Because if you wipe out, which it does happen, <laughs> a lot of us have done it, uh, we don't want it to wreck the track and uh, have glass everywhere and stuff like that. The track itself is one of the two tracks in British Columbia. It's also home to the annual Canadian Western Championship every July. It's one of the most premier tracks in North America. It's um, known as the Laguna Seca of go-kart tracks because of the elevation changes. We have corner two, which is, you just drop down into corner three, just like Laguna Seca down in California. I like how short it is and how many turns and um, like the hills and stuff and everything. I like that part of it scuffing. There's a big hole here. What about all those bumps and falls though? The next morning you're a little bit stiff, but then a couple hours after that you don't even realize that you fell. Sounds good to me. For Shaw TV in Quinell, I'm Anand Chandy.